Hi, it's Angie. I'm coming on this afternoon with the last two entries into my little giveaway challenge. Um, I've been messing around with my camera mount trying to get the right um, angle because I've got a lot of glare from my overhead lights sort of there. So what I've done is I've just put a piece of card there and hopefully it will sort of stop the glare. So it, this is kind of at a bit of a funny angle. So I hope, I hope that... Um, you know it doesn't look too bad when you're actually viewing it so the first entry is this one here or should I should say the eighth entry is this one here and this is from Ashley who is paper and twine on YouTube and I will leave her details down below and just look at all this birdie love if I can get it all in just look at all this lovely birdie love how beautiful is this it's so beautiful i can't bring myself to open it ashley what have you done to me so i'm gonna have to try and open it really carefully because i don't want to rip the envelopes so i'm not totally sure what to open first so i think i'll open um the one that says angie first now i'm just going to get rid of not get rid of you know what i mean the envelope because it's got details on um and if you don't know ashley she's quite new on youtube or sort of like um you know putting like videos and stuff up but please please if you haven't subscribed to it you must because she is so funny her videos just make me laugh all the time she is just she's got one of those natural voices for talking and she'll come on and she'll do um like little stories and information and um was the one i was watching the other day she chose a year was it was it was it the 1980s and she was telling us all facts about the 1980s that she'd researched and stuff and i just love her videos Plus, she's got like crafty stuff and room tour and all sorts of stuff on there. So, um, yeah, please go over. Um, she would absolutely love to get some more subscribers. So, um, please, please, please go and subscribe to her. Um, I absolutely love her videos where they're like talking videos because very often if I'm crafting or if I'm cooking... I absolutely love to put a video on that's like a chatty video and her videos a lot of her videos are absolutely perfect for that so yeah please 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 go over and check her out I'll say so I will leave her channel name down below so anyway that's enough of me waffling let's get on with this so I'm going to open this one first look at the birds and the beautiful stamping she does actually sell her cards on Etsy and they are just they are so perfect and just beautiful there we go pull by oh oh wow ashley oh she actually made this card on um on her channel uh, it was amazing. I was watching it one night before I went to bed. Oh my gosh, I didn't realise it was for me. So pull by holding on to the knot. Don't undo it. To reveal a secret picture and message. Look front and back. Ooh, ooh I hope I don't mess it up. Oh. oh, look at that. Little birds enjoy the sun. Look at that. Her, her backgrounds are just brilliant. Oh. Oh, that is just absolutely beautiful. I'm not going to read the message on the back because it is kind of a bit personal. But if you want to know how to do this card, as I say, go over to her channel because she does have um, a, a tutorial on this. Um, and she uses a lot of like inks and things in backgrounds to make the most beautiful cards. I would actually take a lot of inspiration from her. Um, and actually make some cards because I have this sort of stamp and these sort of stamps and I just love these backgrounds so yeah if you want to know how to make this this style of card please go over to her channel because she's got a video on that that is just beautiful um oh I don't know what to open next oh look at this and 
a neat little bird dressed in black look at that she's got a little like button stamped on the back did i say i can't remember she has an etsy store um i will leave her etsy store name as well um she has some beautiful beautiful cards she i think she's got she had some valentine's ones up last time i looked so no doubt she'll be updating soon with some others oh struggling to get this out um she they're suitable for like weddings and birthdays and beautiful heart cards really pretty i'll so i'll leave her link oh oh i love all your little notes <laughs> i found this wooden frame in my stash which was from the downton abbey collection from crafters companion i've put acetate in it to look like glass stamped on one of my handmade backgrounds and added interest in the back the twine is vintage french linen oh that sounds posh and the words come from an old pocket french english dictionary oh oh gosh that twine it's like um gosh that is so soft it it almost looks like you know our twine that we get the brown twine that's kind of coarse it almost looks like a thinner version of that but it is so so soft oh look beautiful beautiful stamp birds on one of her images inked and looks like some she's like smooshed it ink smoosh in there and she's got acetate what a lovely frame normally they're square but it's, that's a really nice shape oh i don't know what card you use ashley but it's so so smooth and then she's got, as she said, uh, some French dictionary. So the word, obviously, bird in English. And then the, the like the French meaning. Isn't that absolutely beautiful? Look at that. That is gorgeous. I'm going to keep that with that. And then this, again, look. All these little birdies stamped. Isn't they gorgeous? Let's open this one pop that envelope there oh gosh there's lots of little things in here oh and another note oh i love all these notes <laughs> oh dear i love this these are old tags from my stash I have applied antique linen distress oxide through a Tim Holtz stencil to give the appearance of age spots. Ah, oh, she's got a video on this as well. Each tag is decorated with an image cut from a 1950s Enid Blyton book. Oh, wow. I have watercoloured the house sparrow with distress ink and watercoloured the background in subtle colours. Oh, so much effort. The styling has been watercoloured with cosmic shimmer, Pixie powders, sorry his eyes smudged, blew my cat trod on him. That's fine, He's he's been helping you craft, That's there's a little bit of blue in there. Do you think I should put his name in the um, in the pot as well to win the prize? Could win some cat treats. <laughs> oh look, let's have a look. Oh, that's beautiful. These images are, are lovely, so she's watercoloured them up she's used so she's used the stencil to, with to, with some antique linen to make um like like to make it look like age spots she's put some um yarn through there actually is it in, um, yes it is yarn that is so pretty this is what i need to find an old book with something like bird images in something like that that is lovely that is beautiful my husband would like these as well Oh, his eyes okay there's nothing wrong with that you can just see a little bit of like glue but that's fine the colors in that are absolutely beautiful and how how amazing are those, is that like the obviously the lines from the book he wears feathers of all colors purple green violet and blue absolutely beautiful oh and because it's is it cosmic shimmer on this one the it actually shimmers just like starlings do oh that is beautiful i'll be showing these to my husband tonight because he'll love these too 
well thank you so much ashley and just so you know ashley i am actually doing some happy mail for you now i can't actually guarantee when it's going to be coming because i'm obviously crafting a bit slowly at the minute and i've got a couple of other things that i'm doing plus my ebay orders but i am working on it right so that is oh goodness me i'm on 10 minutes already that is entry number eight now we've got entry number nine which is um, the final entry into my challenge and it's um aisha the artsy grandma as i'm sure lots and lots of people know her on youtube and i absolutely love how aisha sends stuff oh i can't show you the front because it's got my address on um just pop that there what i love about aisha is she uses like painty papers and recycled bits of paper to make envelopes like this um and everything is just i want to say messy that sounds that sounds awful what i mean is this for example see how she's made like some paper with she's put a bit of paint on it both sides and she's stamped on it and you see how you see how like this is going to sound awful and i don't mean it to sound sound awful see how like that's not straight it's just put on however it however it's put on i absolutely love that and i love receiving things like this that are just like handmade with scraps and scrappy things and edges are torn and they're not perfect they're not measured i absolutely love receiving things like that but when i do it i can't stand it i can't i don't know it just seems to look wrong and i'm i need to get out of the habit not the habit i need to stop thinking that everything needs to be perfectly straight and measured and i can't i can't I can't do it <laughs> i think because like when i'm doing my makes for work they have got to look really straight and really tidy and i'm kind of sticking to that too rigidly i don't know if this is even making any sense but i need to be able to do things like this without it really annoying me and i i don't know why it annoys me because i love receiving things like this i just can't do it myself so you know it's it's just like this see how she's put she's doodled i mean i can't draw for toffee i mean i wouldn't even be able to draw that flower but you see how she's doodled that there if i did that on something i would just think oh god it's a scribble i can't send that and it'd go in the bin but it's not it's perfect it's beautiful and i just can't do it and i don't know why it's i don't know is it a brain thing is it a i don't know what it is i don't know what it is but i need to learn to be to to be less perfect and actually do more things like this anyway i'm really waffling this morning aren't i so i'm going to open this first because it says angie and aisha is a wonderful support to my channel and also a lot of other ladies channels so again if you don't know her please go over and subscribe oh look at that oh it's a little card oh oh she's just saying please find her oh excuse me why do people always phone when you're in the middle of doing a video i keep getting those i mean yeah, i get them anyway but it was one of those you know potential fraud calls i've had so many of those in the last couple of days it's unreal so sorry where was this what was i saying so there's a beautiful beautiful card again i just couldn't if i tried to do that it i'd be like because it's not straight or even or and i just love it i really do love it i really have got to learn to be more i don't know just creative and just go for it i don't, I don't know any tips asia <laughs> so anyway as i was saying her card says um please find enclosed her entry good luck with your giveaway i hope you get lots of entries wishing you all the best love and hugs from the artsy grandma oh i love the way she always puts her details on the back as well and dates it that's great so again i will leave her details down below oh i love these colors so what have we got i don't want to open everything oh i love the way she just uses like 
like random packaging as well she reuses so much stuff like this here is it's like a dotty bag i don't know if that's actually a because i don't want to open it i don't know if it's actually a bag or whether it it looks like you know when you buy flowers and you have like the cellophane cover on flowers that's what it kind of looks like and as i said before she's got this beautiful painted paper she does some beautiful painted papers and she's got stamping on it and she does have a video i think on these i must admit i'm really behind with watching a lot of videos at the moment i've been what listening to like listening things rather than watchy things but i will be catching up she's got a rosette and that looks like um some sort of recycled almost like deli paper or something because it's got like a it's got like a shine it's got like a waxy finish to it so as i say she's probably sad in her video but i have to confess i say i haven't watched it yet and these are beautiful like the like the lollipop flowers they're different layers and they're painty papers let me turn it around and you might be able to see them although they're side on and she's used some glitter and she's got like uh drops of i don't know if they're nouveau drops or glitter drops and she's got beautiful um purple bows in the middle they're so pretty really really pretty that's that let me just pop these to one side then oh see these are just perfect we've got that dotty dotty um dotty spotty cellophane again and she's backed it with some paper um and she's got some of her what's it like some of her painty papers in strips um oh see i'll be able to use those they are just beautiful i have to use those on my toppers i'm doing a, an ongoing boho swap and there's a lot of purples being used in that so they will be perfect for that and look at these two tags just how beautiful are these she's um I'm trying to work out if she's actually she's gone around flowers in pen i don't know whether she's actually drawn them or whether they're stamps i think they must be stamps think so this one she's gone round in like a, a silver pen and she's got black like nouveau drops and she's like doodled at the top and she's put some gold and silver twine through and then made another flower with her painty papers and got a little bit of the gold and silver in the middle that is so good and then she's doodled again at the bottom and then similarly on this one she's gone round in black pen She's got another flower again with the gold and silver, gold and silver through the top. And then this one, she's got silver glitter in the flower centres. How beautiful are they? And they are actually on cardboard that she's painted purple. Can you see they just see the edge of the cardboard? That really is so pretty. That's that one. Ooh, I don't know what we've got in here again. Recycled packaging which I love. I'm all for recycling my packaging. So it's got this beautiful, look at that, that's just, she's cut out some hearts and obviously she's used like the waist piece and back some red behind it so they look like solid red hearts. Really lovely. I love how she just use, reuses like everything. And this is being held close by a paper clip and this beautiful um, red flower that she's cut out on the front and a red petal behind and she's dotted some just take some confetti hearts there and she's just um, put some hearts on the paper so it's some extra hearts on the paper dotted around and then she's got some red and pink um either new nouveau or glitter drops oh isn't this pretty try and hold it up oh this is perfect for valentine's isn't it so we have some red petals well i used to have some of these years ago i think i must have used them all beautiful red um like acrylic heart and some i love this strip 
sparkling absolutely love it you can use it in so many ways so then we have some little hearts some of this beautiful paper another beautiful piece of paper oh look at these these are beautiful some confetti oh little pink light pink and dark blue dark blue dark pink stars they're beautiful i'll be using some of those in my mother's day packaging actually some more hearts oh that's lovely dear angie i saw that you were not feeling too good so i thought i would make this to cheer you up wishing you a speedy recovery and a happy valentine's day lots of love and hugs aisha the artsy grandma that is so pretty thank you oh you're making me feel all emotional now yeah i had a few days where i wasn't feeling too good um actually over the weekend i wasn't feeling good on friday but i had kid it was actually my kidney i haven't had kidney pain in over a year and it decided to um flare up um yeah friday night so i didn't i didn't feel too good at all but i'm happy to say touch wood and i can't find any oh there we go touch wood it seems to have settled down a little bit after a couple of days of paracetamol and lots and lots of fluid so yes so they are my last two entries what i'm going to do now is go and finish this video put all the details down below have some lunch because <laughs> i'm starving and then i'm going to come back and do the draw later on this afternoon so um I'll see you again later. Thanks for watching. Bye.